In this video, I am going to compare Redivis's line of RB48 adventure radios, the RB48, the RB48 Plus, and the just-released RB48 Pro. So basically, unlike all of those other lesser YouTube channels that only give you one review per video, in this video you are getting three reviews for the price of one. Although technically this will be more of a comparison than a review, but you know what I mean. All three of these retivi come with basically the same detritus, a charging cradle, a wrist strap, and a belt clip. So I will not waste any of your very valuable time going over any of that. Instead, I will focus solely on the features and any weaknesses of each radio. And before I even get started, I should point out, and I should make very clear, that these three radios are not radio dork radios. So if you are one of those Tylenol Americans whose hobby is sitting on the couch and making contacts with anonymous men in far away and exotic places, then none of these radios are for you. And that is because these three retivi are intended to be used by people that actually leave the house and actually go outside adventuring and need to stay in contact with their group. Or for people that have very manly jobs working outside or at a large work site and need to communicate amongst their team. So please, for the love of baby Zenu in his crib, if you are one of those Tylenol babies, do not leave stupid comments complaining that you would never buy one of these retivi because you can't use it to make contacts with anonymous men. Because honestly, nobody cares what you do with yourself when you're all alone in the basement. The RB48 is an FRS radio. I will discuss that more momentarily. And it is sold only in a dyadic bundle, often referred to by people not as smart as me as a two-pack. And that dyadic bundle of radios will cost you 64 monies. But if you are able to do the maths, you will eventually figure out that this means that a single radio costs only 32 monies. And for your purchasing pleasure, I will put an affiliate link to this radio in the more information section of the video below. Next is the RB48 Plus, which is a GMRS radio. I will discuss that more momentarily. And this radio will cost you 60 monies, or only 52 monies if you are an Amazon Prime member. And for your purchasing pleasure, I will put an affiliate link to this radio in the more information section of the video below. And finally, the big monker of the Retivi, the RB48 Pro which is an LMR or business frequency radio. I will discuss that more momentarily. And the cost for the RB48 Pro is 70 monies. And for your purchasing pleasure, I will put an affiliate link to this radio. You know where. Now that I have the Retivi laid out on my test bench, you can probably already see that all three radios look very similar with the RB48 having a slightly different button layout than the Plus and the Pro, but they all have basically the same buttons. Those buttons being Call, Menu, and Monitor. And the RB48 also has an SOS button. That button is used to make stupid and pointless noise and transmits it over the air so that everyone else can be annoyed if you accidentally press it and hold it for a second. All three radios have dual pull-to-talk triggers, one on the side, as you would expect, and a large front-facing pull-to-talk trigger. This large front-facing pull-to-talk trigger is easy to find without looking, if, for example, you are wearing heavy gloves, and because it is on the front, it is easy to find and use if the radio is strapped to a 
backpack strap, your mountain climbing gear, or the risers of your parachute. All three Retivai are USB-Cs chargeable, so you can use either the charging cradle that comes with them or just plug them into one of the many USB-Cs chargers that you already have laying around your house. All three Retivai are IP67 rated, which makes them both waterproof and dustproof, meaning that you can play with them in the bathtub or with your friends in the sandbox. The batteries are screwed in, not held on by weak plastic clips like most lesser cheap Chinese radios, and all three are very rugged. So in despite of what some people will no doubt proclaim in the comments of this video, these are definitely not toys. All three Retivai have channel change buttons on the side, and unlike most radios, you can't accidentally change the channel during vigorous activities, because to change the channel, you must first press the menu button and then press the up or down channel button, thusly. All three Retivai also have a button lock option that can be turned on or off, so that you can't accidentally press any buttons other than the Pull to talk triggers. All three Retivai have very easy to read screens that work very, very well in bright, direct sunlight. In fact, the brighter and more direct the sun, the better you can see the screen. And this is due to the innovative 1980s designed LCD display. All three Retivai also vibrate whenever they receive a signal so you know someone is trying to talk to you even if you are in a very loud environment or wearing hearing protection. And because out of the box they come pre-programmed with tones, you will only hear other people in your group using either another one of these radios or using a radio that you have specifically set up to talk with your group. What I am saying to you right now is these radios will not be randomly vibrating you all day. Unless you want them to. And all three Retivai can receive the NOAA weather channels and weather alerts. Unfortunately, all three Retivai feature terrible Midland radio-like unintuitive menus. However, you shouldn't really need to use the menus because all three radios work right out of the box. No programming or changes are needed if you're using two of the same model. You just turn them on, set the channel, and talk. But fear not, because once you figure out how to decipher the menus, and because there are only a few menu options, it is fairly easy to make changes on the fly, even if you're stupid. And unlike many lesser cheap Chinese radios, all three of these Retivai have a five-year warranty. And most important, like all high-quality radios, all three Retivai do have a Roger beep. The RB48 has a battery that holds 2,000 milliamp hours of electricity, and it is an FRS radio. This means that according to our overlords at the FCCs, no license of any kind is required to use this radio, and anyone of any age and of any gender can use one. It has the standard 22 FRS channels, and it can talk to GMRS radios because GMRS radios and FRS radios share the exact same channels. But as an FRS radio, you cannot remove the antenna to put on a bigger one, and it is limited to outputting a maximum of only two watts of RF electricities. However, even with this small antenna, and even with only two watts, using this radio and this antenna, I was able to talk with my friend Conrad, the chef, at his house 13 miles away while he was using his big base station GMRS radio. He was just barely able to hear me, but he heard me 13 miles away. The RB48 Plus has a battery that also holds 2,000 milliamp hours of electricity, and it is a GMRS radio. This means that our overlords at the FCCs have decreed 
that in order to transmit on this radio, thou must haveth a GMRS license. There is no test for a GMRS license. You simply pay for it online, just like a hunting license, and it costs 35 monies. Once purchased, a GMRS license is good for 10 years and it covers your entire immediate family. You do not need a license to purchase, own, possess, or listen to a GMRS radio. You only need the license if you plan on pressing this button or this button. Because this is a GMRS radio, it can output more power than the FRS radio, which can make it penetrate through walls or fat people much better, and the antenna is removable so that you can connect it to a bigger antenna should you choose to do so. This radio is also repeater capable, meaning that you can extend its fars by much farzer by using a repeater should you choose to do so. And of course, as a GMRS radio, it comes with the standard 22 GMRS channels that are also compatible with FRS radios so they can talk to each other, as well as the eight standard GMRS repeater channels. Redivis says that this radio outputs up to five watts of RF electricities, and as you can see on GMRS channel 16, this radio is outputting just over five watts. And using this radio, I was also able to talk with my friend Conrad the Chef at his house 13 miles away, using his base station GMRS radio, and he was able to hear me loud and clear. And finally, the RB48 Pro. This Munker has a battery that holds 2800 milliamp hours and it is an LMR or business frequency radio. This means that according to our overlords at the FCC's, you or the company that owns the radios must have an FCC's business or LMR license if you plan to transmit on it. You do not need any license or permission slip to purchase, own, possess, or listen to this radio. You only need that license if you plan to do that. This radio is not locked, so in addition to the LMR business frequencies, it can also transmit and receive on the FRS and GMRS frequencies, the HAMS radio's 70 semimeters frequencies, and pretty much everything in between. The RB48 Pro comes pre-programmed with 16 seemingly random LMR business frequencies, so you can use it right out of the box, or you can use the free programming software to program in your FCC-assigned business frequencies, or GMRS 70 semimeters channels, or pretty much whatever channel or frequency you want, as long as it's in the UHF frequency range. This radio is repeater capable and it can store a total of 30 channels and it also has a removable antenna so you can connect it to a larger or better antenna should you choose to do so. Perhaps the best feature of the RB48 Pro is that because it is designed for use outside in the wind or at a noisy job site or inside of a noisy Jeep, it has built-in AI noise reduction reduction, which actually works very, very well. Use your own noise holes and see for yourself exactly how well it works. This is a test in a very windy environment with no noise reduction. One, two, three, four, five. This is a test with the noise reduction enabled in a very windy environment. One, two, three, four, five. The Redivis website says that this radio outputs up to 10 watts, which, if true, would help this radio punch through more walls and more fat people, both of which you find a lot of in large buildings. So let's test that. And as you can see with your very own eye holes on GMRS channel 16, this radio is outputting just over. 9 watts. And using this radio and this antenna, I was able to talk with my friend Conrad the Chef at his house 13 miles away, loud and clear, direct radio to radio while he was on his large GMRS base station. There was not much difference in clarity between the Plus and the Pro, but both had a much stronger signal than the FRS version. So if you are looking for a very rugged, waterproof, easy to use adventure radio for use whilst hiking, off-roading, parachuting, working on very manly job sites, or whilst doing other vigorous activities or adventures, any one of these very rugged and very manly redivi would be a very good choice.